here's what we're doing today. We're going to, uh, oh, I don't know, a week ago or something, you saw a, a back porch where we put a uh, storm door on. We had put uh, some new boards on the steps in the back. Forrest painted it off. Well, the front porch is getting a little weak in places, and we're going to go over and fix that or start tearing it out. And then probably Monday, we'll go in and put some new boards in. And uh, I've had that house for a long time. And the front porch just gotten bad on it over the years, and so we're going to redo it. So that's going to uh, be this video for the next uh, couple of days, probably Friday and Monday, of doing that. So we're getting our tools ready right now. So that's what we got going on is getting tools we think we'll need. So far, right here, we've got the this is the DeWalt tea stack box and of course all your bits and I've got uh, several batteries I've got 20 volts in here I've got 20 volts I've got flex volts because we're not gonna have any outside electricity over there and when somebody's living in the house I don't like using their electricity and so I try to go battery as much as possible and I don't like to plug up my battery chargers um, we're gonna have the Sawzall multi-tool look at there there was a battery on that didn't even know it and because uh, I don't like to leave my batteries outside the 60 volt skill saw we're gonna have this little thing right here you just almost can't live without it. the little multi-tool so we're gonna have that. So that's what we're going over with right now. We'll see how this thing goes. We're gonna take you with us. Now guys, I don't like doing this. Uh, my Dodge is having headlights put in. So we're gonna take the TRD Pro and we're gonna try to hook up to that big Hanks trailer because I need to go get some wood for that porch. And if you'd asked me two hours ago if I'd be doing this, I'd say, no, I'm not gonna do that. But we gotta have the wood. We need to get this port, get started on this porch. Putting the wood down, so we're gonna try to hook up. I don't know if this TRD will hold that trailer up or not. That's a heavy, heavy trailer. I didn't squat it too bad. We got that barrel off, which was probably five, six hundred pounds. And it's set back up, so we're good to go, man. Got back with the wood, and we're gonna transfer it over to the golf cart and go back over there to work. Old TRD did pretty good handling that wood. It hurt me just a little to hook that trailer up, but I'll get over it. got this part done we're gonna come back Monday finish it as you seen we were using the table saw here using the 60 volt circular saw I like battery powered stuff on the job another reason I like it is uh, if we have to go somewhere 
you just pop the batteries out of your tools and you don't have to worry about you know anybody turning them on getting hurt guys we're back with you this monday it is showing 59 degrees this morning it is chilly in kentucky uh here we've got cloudy skies we got blue skies trying to come through i don't know if you can see through the trees over there but blue skies over there it's not calling for any chances of rain but it sure looks like it could start any minute we're loaded up and uh, we're gonna take this over to the porch we got to make a couple of pit stops a couple of errands i got to do a few uh stop off at a few business places and we're gonna do that grab a little lunch and then we're gonna get to work on this uh, porch well forrest comes in at nine o'clock here it is about 15 after 12 and we're finally gonna get to work i got all my running around done and we've eat lunch and we're gonna start tearing a section of this porch out and putting it back. Just set them right here and I'll pick them, I'll take them over there. All right, let me show you what's going on right here. Um, we're replacing this section right here. And when you put this like this, you got this lip. Turn it around. We got a smooth fit. The wind's blowing like crazy, but anyway, this saw. The 60 volt circular saw. It cuts at 57 degrees. So I'm able to put this on 57 degrees, cut a 57 degree angle on this board, makes it fit, fit up against that flush. So man, that's a plus. So I have to cut it on this side so that I put the bevel on this piece. Take the saw, 57 degrees. Well, 
forest. And myself have finished this job. I hope you've enjoyed our video on repairing a porch. And we'll be back at you another day or two. He's going to paint it and then I'll show it to you.